Okay, so system file checker is basically a way for Windows to look for and restore uh, missing files or corrupted system files. It doesn't always work, it's not perfect, but very often it can do a lot of good. Sometimes you even have to find the offending file where it exists, if it's corrupted, delete it, which can be difficult with uh, Windows system files. It involves a little bit more complex process, um, or usually not delete, but like move it um, so that it's not there, so that system file checker will go, oh, this file isn't even there, instead of going, it's corrupted and I'm gonna try to fix it. And then it'll just re-download it from Windows Update. Um, so here is the step-by-step -step process. You are going to go to command. So in the search bar type command, command prompt, right click on it, click run as administrator. You should be an administrator as you're, if you're logged in. Um, if it's not an administrator account, you will need to be able to type in the administrator account. Um, if you're already logged in as administrator, it'll just come right up, but it needs to be admin. Type in SFC space slash or backslash, whatever the fuck that is, I don't know. Scan now and you let it run. And we are going to let it sit. This won't take super long on my PC. <clears throat> so we'll let it sit for a few minutes and we'll see if it returns anything. Ostensibly, I shouldn't get anything screwed up back because this is a pretty new install of Windows, but who knows? Now it might, I play around with some of my settings that prevents Windows from updating because I don't want it to update. Um, so it might not be able to on mine, but they are changes that most people don't ever make. So we'll give it a second. Uh, there's stuff to do. It's like if you don't have Windows 10 professional, you can't even make the changes that I'm that that, that I make. So um, they they wouldn't be made. Like you can't do them in the registry. You can't you you can't change group policy. You'd have to literally be on a server, and it's pushed to your client um, Windows Home computer through the server if you were on. Okay, so found corrupt files, but was unable to fix some of them. They're probably files I changed. That's okay. Um, CBS.log, not surprising that the, um, okay, let's see. Okay, so let's see. Um, we can open that up. Win directory, which is C, Windows Oops. C Windows logs CBS CBS dot log. All right, so and there's also there's some other things going on on my PC. Oh, this file itself might be screwed up. So it's not uncommon to see, to get this result anyway, but, and again, this result for me is because of stuff that I do, but it usually works on less messed up, <laughs> less mucked with things uh, when installs. So this was, what time is it right now? Seven something. So let's come down. Okay. So what was corrupt? 
So it looks like we repaired a bunch of files. Oh, and these are files that I have. Yeah. Reproject corrupted system file. Oh, you can't see this. This is on my other monitor. Anyways, this is just an example, but so you probably won't get this result. You'll probably get a much better result because of not having a mucked about. Yeah. Um, so you can see, you know, it, it repaired some files uh, up here. We can actually see what it could not repair. Could not reproject alarm eight wave. Totally inconsequential. I will never care about that file. Who cares? It, it probably is detecting that because of my custom shell and custom sound themes and stuff. Like, <laughs> it's who cares, right? Doesn't remember. Repair member file, alarm eight wave, uh, do not match, hashes do not match. Wow, big deal, right? But look, we, we repaired Cortana. Ew. So I probably just restored some things that I didn't want to restore. And I will need to go... Oh, okay, so I know what it repaired here. What's happened is I changed the folder locations of all the Microsoft Edge stuff so that nothing I ever did would ever open up Microsoft Edge because it's almost impossible without skills far beyond mine to get rid of my Microsoft Edge. And what I just did was undo about 15 minutes of work. But um, as you can see, should be good. So just follow those instructions and you have a very high chance um, if not, then we'll go forward from there.